And I know for many therapists, the um, astronaut training protocol itself one component of it, the rotary component, uses um, spinning and a particularly sized board and very specific positions. Um, what was your inspiration to create that rotary component of the protocol? Because so many people um, do rotary if the child self-initiates it, but stay away from that passive input. So what inspired you to do that and get so precise and accurate about it? Well, that was part of uh, studying the neuroanatomy and and realizing that uh, there are three of the receptors that are called the semicircular canals. They cannot be activated precisely unless you put the head in a very um, exact position while doing rotation, because these are fluid-filled canals, and so the orientation of the head is going to determine which of, the, of these receptors is being activated. And I wanted to have it um, be something that you could use in any environment because um, I work with children at, in schools, in homes, in my clinic, and um, and so the the uh, I also uh, had the good fortune of knowing uh, uh, one of the researchers in in the astronaut protocol, and um, he was fascinated because he, he said you're doing the very same things that we're doing with the astronauts, and so that's where I came up with calling it the astronaut protocol.